Oh hi, right, just doing an off Austin 7 build update. Um, currently uh, redoing the brakes. Um, I'm doing away with the original the original alloy brake shoes. Um, and these are the standard brake back plates and hubs. Um, these would have been cable operated. Um, so I'm going to convert mine to hydraulic brakes all round. Um, so what I've done is bought some Morris Minor 7 inch back plates. Um, these are the rears um, and these are the fronts. So the fronts have got twin leading cylinders and shoes and the rear's just got a single uh, single actuator. Um, let's see if I can get one. Uh, let's start one of these. So that will fit something like that. Um, and I can run the handbrake off this lever here. Um, basically the same as a Morris Minor brakes. Um, one thing I've been trying to get hold of for ages, which is the uh, girling brake drums for an Austin 7. Um, these are cast iron, and I can compare them to the standard. These are the standard brake drums on Austin 7. Um, I think these are like pressed, pressed steel or something like that. Um, but the girling, the girling brake drums are cast iron. Generally considered stronger, stronger brake drum, a slightly deeper, um, but they're quite hard to get hold of nowadays. I think because all the racing boys use them, and so they are obviously not made anymore. So they're gradually becoming scarcer and scarcer. I paid 50 quid each for these drums, so they're not cheap either. So far I've only got two of them, so I need need to find two more. So I have to wait to see what crops up on eBay. Um, now to fit the Morris Minor brake drums and brakes onto the Austin 7 hubs and brake drums, you've got to do a little bit of chopping around. So if we uh, have a look at the back of this, See that's a standard Morris Minor fitment. Um, so you have to get your brake drum and cut out this inner section. And then you want to cut out some steel, get some steel plate and cut that out so that fits in there like that. But you also need to set the uh, set the brake drum back a little bit um, so it can accommodate the thicker Morris Minor brake shoes and the and get the drum to line up. So you need to cut out some steel strip. You know, I cut this to about 20, 22 mil, I think it is. Um, and then you have to weld it around onto these plates from the step. So you, you'll end up with something like this, um, so you can see it. it sets the brake back plate back about 22 mil. Um, you can see that recessed in there. And that way, you can run Morris Minor brake shoes, brake cylinders on the. Austin 7 girling brake drums and they're a perfect fit perfect fit around there see that so that's all good but you have to sort of weld it all in situ so I've got the, got the hub bolted that in place then get my other drum with a hub on it fit that into there line everything up and then weld it all in place. Um, so this is the uh, 
This is the first one. I've got obviously uh, one more on the front and both the rear ones to do as well. There is currently a set of rear ones on eBay at the moment. Um, the guys asking 50 quid. But I'll probably just chop these up and make my own. Save myself a few quid. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, keeping me busy at the moment. As you can see, I've got the chassis set out on the bench here in the shed. I really need a bigger shed. Uh, just got an old crankcase on here just to line up the gearbox just so I know where everything's going to lie. And you can see on the front here, I've got the Bowden front suspension unit. Uh, see the top and bottom springs which act like wishbones really. Um, so I've got a plate here I can make up. Um, I may just cut this plate out so that those are the old friction dampers will run off, run off those. So I'll have twin, twin friction dampers. That will come back down to a mount on here somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. I've also done away with the Austin 7 radius arm. Um, so you can see the radius arm would have fitted in this hole here, gone through, and then down to the centre in there. Um, but uh, I've made up this bracket here. You can see that. Um, got all these rose joints, bit of tubing, and just welded nuts into the end of the tubing with a lock nut on there. Uh, made these brackets. So I've got top and bottom radius arms. This will also allow me to adjust the, uh, the camber angle. Um, so this, this is also where the hub mounts, um, so I can change that angle there. Just keeps all, all the rose joints, just keep everything moving freely. I've mounted that onto the cross member here on the chassis. Um, I might run a little bracket across here, just a bit of extra support on this. Um, so hopefully this setup will work quite nicely. Um, it's all looking good. Back axle is just roughly mounted on the back here. Just wanted to get an idea of dimensions and such like. Got to work out where everything goes um, when it comes to the brakes and the foot pedal. I'll probably still run the clutch off the standard um, position here, so that the clutch pedal will literally bolt straight to this output shaft on the side of the bell housing. And then I'll have to make up the brake pedal, the hydraulic system off of the brake pedal, and then the accelerator pedal will go over here somewhere. So I'll probably get myself a, a standard Morris Minor um, brake monster cylinder and make something up for that. Um, I've got to make up a, a bracket which will run along here and along to here somewhere just to support the floor in the middle here of the transmission tunnel. Um, so there's a bit more steel is going to go in here. Um, but yeah, so at the moment I'm just concentrating on the brakes and getting all those set up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And yeah, it's keeping me busy over Christmas. Okay, for now.